Back when you used to interview every potential Scott Trade employee, you famously evaluated for one thing consistently, and that was ego. Can you tell us about why and what that told you about how you were building the team that you were just describing? Well, I would always look for, uh, I would say, personality first. I mean, obviously, you want someone with, with a background that lends talent to your organization. Sure. <laughs> but that given, uh, I, I always looked at their personality. And I wanted somebody that I liked, that I could see myself working with and spending a lot of time with. And if someone appeared to have too big of an ego, I passed on them. Uh, I don't think you'd have too many big egos and have good teamwork mm -hmm. and good camaraderie and a good culture. So I would rather have very few big egos mm -hmm. and just good people that get along with each other working here. Mm -hmm. We do now in, in the uh, back at school, <laughs> we do a lot of personality assessment and leadership assessment mm -hmm. and leadership coaching. And we have a lot of buzzwords and vocabulary and terminology for different types of attributes that if you boil it all down and use some common sense, like you were talking about earlier, really tie back to exactly what you're saying, which is to understand who makes sense on your team. And in some cases, you could imagine having a lot of big egos would be perfect for another organization. But uh, a very unique intuition that you had in building your team to see how that would not be the case here and, and look at what it's yielded. It really is remarkable how as you grow, you retain the culture. It's unusual and it, I'm glad that you get a lot of recognition for that.